show. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Bubs. Long time no makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to be sharing this look that I've been wearing pretty often and some of you guys have been requesting for a tutorial. I would describe this makeup would definitely be a warm, glowy look. The great thing about this eye look is that it flatters most different eye shapes, especially if you have hooded eyes like myself. Pretty amateur, it's very easy but looks so beautiful. Because the eyeshadows are matte and blown out, it doesn't look overly heavy. So without further ado, I'm gonna let you guys go straight to the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. Don't mind me, I'm still in my PJs. Hello weekend, doesn't matter. <laughs> I am starting off with the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer by It Cosmetics. It's honestly too light for me, unfortunately, but the formula is great. So I'm just going to use it uh, as a little highlighter first. So uh, the tiniest amount is all you need and I like to warm it up with my fingers just so it melts into my skin better. Especially when it comes to super thick formula concealer, you want to apply it sparingly. Just using my fingers, I'm just going to take my time and dab it. I've just applied the tiniest amount and it's just removed most of my dark circles but right on top of it i'm going to be using one of my favorite concealers this is an oldie but goodie and this is the the same uh, dual concealer and i love it don't apply it too close to your actual eyes because you will get reverse dark circles so i would say this is probably my favorite brush from real techniques it's fantastic for blending out concealer in the under eye and as you can see, when I'm using concealer brush, you can barely see the bristles move. Be gentle with your face. Dark circles, be gone. My foundation wise, I've really been enjoying the Wonder Beauty Powder Foundation. When it comes to powder foundation, I kind of wear in phases. Uh, I think especially because of the holidays, eating a lot of sweets and stuff, my skin has just been extra oily, as you can see. I prefer to use this with a slightly damp beauty blender. So I just like to start from the inner parts of my face in small dabs, moving it outwards. As you can see, it's completely evened up my skin and I've been applying in really, really thin layers. What I like about this foundation is that it's got great coverage as you can see. Um, I would recommend this if you've got normal to combo skin. I like to use a lot of different brow products, but lately I've gone back to my benefit. Uh, bra shaping kit. I think this is even the older packaging. What I really really love is their brush. It's just the perfect angle. It's got the perfect stiffness to give amazing precision. So you guys will see. So I'm just going to start off with the brow wax. As you can see, I've truly hit pan. I like to start by sort of getting the shape that I want at the top and then at the bottom as well. And because I'm just using the brow wax, it's never going to look too heavy. And it's great for making hair-like lines as well. I highly recommend this brush. So you don't want the front of your brow to look too heavy because it's going to end up looking harsh. So going back to my brow wax, my tinted brow wax, I can then work on the arch. I let it follow and sort of taper it a little bit higher. I just find it to be really flattering if you've got more of a round face. You just have to remember in general when it comes to your brows, you don't want the end of your brow to be lower than the front because what happens is it's going to end up drooping your eyes. So now going to my powder, just take the tiniest amount. I'm going to go ahead and darken the edges so it looks more gradient. A little bit, the tiniest enough. And then using my spoolie, I'm going to brush it up. A lot of times it's not just that your brows grow differently. Um, I know that this brow grows further back, whereas this one's like this. Um, one brow is higher than the other. And it's all to do of the muscles and the bone structure of your face. That is all okay. Don't worry about your brows looking like twins. They're not supposed to, just as long as they look like sisters. So with my brows done, I'm going to go straight to eyeshadow. And I have been enjoying the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette a lot. It's actually been the only palette really I've been reaching out for. And for this, like, I don't even need to apply primer, although you can go ahead. I'm going to start off with Dusty Rose, which is this lovely taupe color. Relaxing my eye. This is when I just apply the color on my lid. 
but I'm also just blowing it at the same time so you don't want an obvious line so tilt your head back take your time my bristles on my brush are barely moving and you can't see my skin being tugged you just want to be gentle and keep the movement going another great thing about this look is it's pretty simple um, anybody could do this like anybody can blend you just gotta take your time doing it blow white makeup is also great if you just want to use one eyeshadow and just gradually build up the density immediately afterwards you can see the eyes are darker but it doesn't swallow the eyes yet so now I'm going to go on to the color Sienna, which is a lovely warm reddish brown. I'm going to start by distributing the color on the edge of my lid first, like this. Again, I just move the brush in circles and blow it out. Okay, you can go in, you can go out, as long as you're moving the color and blowing it out. Now you can really see this is where it starts to open my eyes, especially if you've got hooded eyes like myself where it's double eyelid and then you look straight and then like your eyelid disappears it really helps to look straight into the mirror and know where to bring the color super super easy you want the look to look super subtle instead of going for the warmish brown you can actually just stay with your existing color but just apply a little bit more so it appears more concentrated hence darker by using the same color i can take on a tiny amount it's gonna pop it underneath my eyes. I like to stop about halfway, two thirds way in. With this color, it's okay to apply a little bit lower than you usually would. I'm gonna move on to a darker color, and this is called Cypress Umber. Umber. <laughs> Umber. So, again, just popping it at the edge like I always do, and then blowing it out. At this point, it really depends how intense you want the eye to look. So I'm just going to stop it right here. But you can feel free to layer on to a fourth color. It could be a dark plum or even possibly a black. So using the same color, Cypress Umber, I'm going to pop it on my lower lash line. Just about one third way in. And these days when I'm applying my eyeliner, I like to just go right underneath my lash line as you can see so I'm just gonna tight line and then I'm gonna use the thinnest line possible from inner going out In general just when it comes to eyeliner is the line should be one third of your eyelid I like to use brush tips because it gives me wonderful precision but it's not tuggy in my skin like a marker tip eyeliner would again it's all preference especially because my eyelids are hooded like I said it's pretty wrinkly so I need something that won't dry my eyes I like to use just the tip of a brush just sort of pull my skin a little bit not overly tugging it going ahead applying the eyeliner just like that Sometimes your fingers are dirty and it leaves marks or it can really alter your foundation then it's great to just use a brush to help you along the way. It could be anything. I've actually really been enjoying using this highlight for my inner corners and it is a face highlight and I'm really sorry I don't actually have a name of this product. Right now I'm currently developing a highlight palette and this is just one of the samples of my highlights. So I don't have a product but any champagne eyeshadow would do the job. Right here. Corners. Since I really don't have anywhere to go to, I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. I recently discovered that the Benefit Good Proof Brow Pencil is great for contouring the nose, especially because when it comes to brow pencil, it's made to be blended out, right? So it's gonna blend well. It gives you good definition. It's easy to draw out the lines. This is when I use a shader brush. And I just blend away. As you can see, My nose is looking skinnier already, right? And it's not even completely blended. And I like to keep it almost sort of like 
a triangular shape as you can see it's just so it looks more natural then this one is a number three by the way it just works perfectly for my skin tone and it helps us suck your nose so you can see the shadows Okay, so once that is done, I'm gonna use a fluffy side just to blend it better. This is actually from my Anastasia uh, Sock Glam Palette. Whatever's left over, I can just sort of move it upwards just so it creates more of a natural look. Especially in this part here, the color should be the lightest. My nose is so much smaller! I'm a different woman! You really want to make your nose appear extra small, you can actually just apply a tiny bit of concealer right next to the shadow so it really contrasts whatever is left over just apply down your nose bridge as a gentle highlight amazing right for the lips i'm going to be using pixie beauty this is the pastel petal matte last liquid lip i like this one it's nude but it's not too nudey The shape of the applicator also makes it really easy to apply as well. Now I have to really define my face. I'm going to be using my Hula powder. Just using an angled fluffy brush as you can see. I'm just going to take a small amount on top of the excess. So you want to imagine an imaginary line from the top of my ear going to the corner of my lip. You see the line? This is what's going to really chisel and sharpen my face. So I'm applying it actually right on the cheekbone. And you want to stop around here, the corner of your eye. You don't want to extend it too far in. And this is actually going to act as a bronzer slash blush as well. It's going to give me the color that I want. Whatever's left over, I'm just going to warm up my forehead, my hairline. And it really helps it look directly into the mirror when you're doing this. So you can see that line when you're looking directly versus the actual contours of your face. Again, taking the tiniest amount, I'm just gonna pop it right here. So again, you wanna look straight into the mirror and I'm asking where you wanna cut off, if that makes sense. Making sure it doesn't look harsh. My entire face just looks so much more defined. Almost done, so now I have to look extra glowy. I'm gonna use, I'm so sorry again. Again, this is one of the samples from my highlight palette that I've been developing and it, because I'm testing it, I've been using it lots. But just any rose toned, undertoned highlighter would work well. Anything that sort of gives you a nice bronzy finish. Right here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, here it's my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know in the comments below if you have any requests, anything. I think I definitely need inspiration. I hope this year has been treating you well. Until next time, I shall see you soon.